Hey guys, so that was the $5 one. Now I'm gonna do a $15 one. So the $5 one went extremely well. I'm gonna put the more valuable cards here. I think these, so he sells it in two, so I've always picked the longer boxes. The flea market where I bought the tiger painting and the flea market that Austin and I go pretty much every week. Austin and I actually went to like, kind of like a humble state fair. Like that's how I would describe it. There was live music. I bought some honey. And so that's how I would describe it, a uh, state fair instead of going to the flea market this time around. But, all right, let's go with it and let's see if we can get some value from it. Ooh, ruins. I wish these were wharf, I wish these were wasteland. So it's each of the, uh, so this looks like fifth edition. So, but it's like a bazillion of them. I think there's more value here, but the value is in like these crappy cards, like, right? So, I mean, look at all these lands. Even at like five cents, if you assume they're five cents, you get like so many of them. And maybe one day they become like City of Shadows. Oh, there are even more lands. Ice Flow, is Ice Flow worth any money? Probably not because it's here. Ruins of to Wow, this is like a bazillion of these lands that come and play tap, and then you can tap it to add the white, or you can sacrifice it to add the two white. I remember these being, oh my, look at this. Look at this. If these were worth like a quarter each, we would have hit a jackpot, but I don't know if they are. So don't quote me on this. Oh, cool. A for Storm, a bazillion. Anti magic, okay. Wow, there's a lot of anti magic. Feedback, energy flux. I'm pretty sure this is a vintage card. Can someone tell me, please? Because I have a bazillion energy fluxes. Oh, Dance of Mini. I, I do like that card. This is how many energy fluxes I have. And I'm almost certain that this is a vintage card that I've seen being played in vintage against Affinity or against, you know, uh, the workshop. Because it is just brutal against that, but I'm going to leave it here because I'm not, unless I know there's value, I'm just going to, I'm going to always assume that there's no value in the cards if I cannot identify value, but I have seen it. I just don't know what it's worth. Um, so it is a sideboard tech feedback. Oh, Glacial Wall, I do love this card. Life Tap is good. Mind Bomb. I, I remember I thought Mind Bomb was like the best card ever. I was like, this is amazing. And then I saw Brainstorm. Phantom Monster. So the you can either pick this box, like this longer box, or you can pick a fat pack box. And the fat pack, it's totally random. So you just tell the dude, the dude asks how many do you want, and you tell the dude, and the dude goes in the back and he picks them. And I know it's random because the guy doesn't know magic cards. Like he does not know magic. So, and you know, I'm still waiting to hit a jackpot of some type. And I, I don't know if it's ever gonna happen, but like if you have, like this is the interesting part of these longer boxes. It's not that random, right? Oh, what's this card? Please be. Well, I mean, what are we in? Fifth edition? Like, City of Brass would be good? Like, 20 of them would be awesome? I don't believe... Oh, Phantom Monster, of course. So I'm pretty sure that I can trust him to be honest with the cards. It's just that the cards he has purchased, he purchased them at, like, really... from a store that went out of business. Ooh, Sea Spirit. This is a beautiful card, by the way. Um, it's so beautiful. And I have a vision. I have like a bazillion of them. And that's why I purchased these long boxes, even though the fat pack itself is worth more money. I mean, the future, future side fat pack is worth some money. Steel artifact, that's probably a little bit. But uh, wall of air, wind spirit used to be like, I, I think I played this on Magic Online when it came in CD form. It was like the best card was wind spirit. All right, we didn't get anything of value there. Maybe the energy flux. I, I do believe the energy flux is incredibly good as a sideboard, sideboard tech against... Oh, cool. We have another Wizard of Coast baseball product, which I told you guys about previously. Oh, okay. This is Ice Age. What are we looking for Ice Age? And I don't know. Cooperation. I remember this card was uh, criticized for its artwork. Kind of a strange artwork. I never understood why. Oh, Tempest. 
Minion of the Waste, Wood Sage. Oh, these are rares from Tempest, but they're not very good ones. Oh, Lakes, Barrens. Uh, I mean, these might be a low ballot, ballot today because hand to hand combat. Strike of Wrath. Oh, these are rares. Holy sh crap. But are there any good ones? Pegasus Refugee, Tooth and Claw. But this one, I, I remember very loving this one. Destroy target artifact creature that permanents controller gains control of Stark of Wrath permanently. It's just so fun to play in EDH. Magma Shore, uh, No Quarter. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure these are rares. Chaotic Goo. And Heart Ward Giant, Fugitive Druid. Crazy Amazon, Amadon, Calderic. These are rares, yeah. They're just not any good ones. Unfortunately, but I mean, if you if you can sell rares for like five, I don't know how much they go, five cents, then that probably is like, well, right now we're aiming for $15. We have received no money before, no money at all. We have Sacred Guide. What are we looking for? Sacred for Sacred Guide, reveal cards from your library until you reveal a white card, put that card in your hand, remove all cards. This is not good. Safeguard. Acidic Dagger. Oh, now we're in Miraz. Miraz. Amulet of Unmaking. Are these rares? Bone Mask. They might be. Yeah, they might be rares. So maybe we made back our money from Bulk. Mises Cage. Uh, that's not great. Razor's Pendulum. Ven Fact Bottle. Okay, I just want to hit something. Oh, Abyss. These these are rares. I know this one is because it used to be really good in back in the day. Forbidden Crypt. For each card you would draw, instead choose target card in your graveyard and put it into your hand. If you cannot lose a game, you lose the game. Whenever cards put into the graveyard, remove that a card from the game. Remove that card from the game. So it is about your graveyard. Maybe it's worth some money. I'm not positive. Harbinger of Death. These are rares. This is a whole box of rares. Phyrexian Tribute. Sacrifice two creatures. Destroy target artifact. That's so bad. I mean, geez. Why would anyone do that? Ancestral Memory. That is definitely a rare. Oh, Bizarre Wonders. One of my favorite cards, but not good in idiots. Energy Vertex. Okay. Are any of... Ooh, Lore Weaver. This dude is... Is this dude OP? Put target enchantment card from your graveyard onto it. Treat that enchantment as though it was just played. Um, use this ability only in upkeep and only if there's no enchantments on him. Uh, tap two blue. Destroy all enchantments. So not as good as I th remember him being. Pirates. Of course, pirates. Oh, Mist Dragon. Oh, I love Mist Dragon. It is, it's a beautiful dragon. Um, I'm going to put it aside because it is a gorgeous dragon. I mean, I just love, I, I grew up with this dragon and it's crazy. So it's crazy to see. Back in the day, if you had Mist Dragon, you would just pay zero, get flying, pay zero, lose flying. I, it's not worth any money, but we have a whole box of rares but they're probably not the best, but they're better than lands. So at $5 for this box, uh, okay, they're not rares anymore. What, what, what the hell happened? Uh, Psychic Transfer, oh no, no, still rares. Uh, oh, this guy, remember this guy? Um, yeah, Legendary Creature, all your lands phase out. Imp. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, now we're in the, uh, I'm pretty sure these are still rares too, because this one, the growth definitely is. Purge, pay free life per target, destroy any number of target creatures. All right, you just take a, oh, Purgatory. Reflect, oh, this is the enemy set. Oh, nice, nice. This is the uh, set of enemies. Sacrifice a creature, prevent all combat damage, circle of despair. This current spirit, which is like a giant, looks like a tree, but it's actually a spirit. This dude, Energy Bolt used to be really good. So this is like a whole box of rares. And it is like times a bazillion. So $5, this is definitely worth, because look at all these unfilled desires. Pay one, pay one life, draw a card, and choose and discard a card. Nope, we have a lot better cards now. Wellspring, which is a terrible card. 
even back in the day, Cycle of Life. Oh, that's that's a beautiful card, by the way. Cycle of Life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this card. Uh, it's so bad. And more Cycle of Life's Mindbender Spores, Superior Numbers. Root of Life, Preferred Selection, at beginning of upkeep, like the top two cards, put that card on the bottom, or sacrifice it and pay it. Okay, no. Seeds of Innocence, bury all artifacts. Each artifact controller gains a amount equal to the artifact's casting cost. I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. I don't know if this is the same box or a different box, because this looks very, very familiar. Like recently, I listed, oh, Hyvis the Snake. You mean choose not to gain control or target dragon. Wow, that's not the card I remember. Incinerate times a bazillion reign of chaos, which is good against planes and plane like decks. Legends, flanking, if attacks all creatures flanking gets plus plus two, plus one, plus one. Okay, this is meh, Torrent of Lava. Deals X damage target to each creature without flying. Okay, that's not great because. Ooh. All right. Ooh, uh, destroy target dragon. So I think this would be really cool. Yeah, lots of dragon killers. This is definitely not rare. It's just an elephant. This is a legend. So, I mean, there was a lot of legends in this particular box and we do have one more box left. Oh, Pearl Dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a beautiful dragon, by the way. I'm sure a casual player would trade for it. Like Divine Retribution, uh, Champion, Influence, and that's, that's it. Oh, no chamber. You and target opponent each name any card except the basic land. That card cannot be played. So back in that day, it was actually good. So we are going to move on to the last box and hope that there's something good in the last box because we spent $15. Although we do have a whole entire box of rares, probably a few hundred, I would say 300, because if the box is 500, the majority of cards are rares in the box, that's probably 300. So at five cents each, that's like $15. Maybe we made our back our money. I think bulk, but actually they have different prices for bulk with symbol and bulk without symbol. And these all don't have symbols on them. So it takes longer for people to identify them. So then you get paid less money. Okay, let's go through this as fast as we possibly can. Asses, because I'm running out of batteries. Blight, carrying warm, cursed land. This seems to be just uh, not as exciting as the last set. Death Grip, Eye of that something something, Evil Presence, Gloom, Gloom was a fun card back in the day. Ooh, Greater, I mean, wow, look at this type, Linkolf Trope, cool. And you have like a bazillion of them. So all you, I, I know it sounds ridiculous, but if you hit one card in this type of deal, you hit like eight times a hundred. Look, look, look at this. We're still mine warp, mole worms. I mean, is there anything valuable from this set? Probably not. War wall of bones. Okay, please give me something valuable. Please give me something valuable. Angry mob times a bazillion. Oh, what's this? Sacrifice enchantment, destroy target enchantment, counter target enchantment. Okay, I remember that card from like Mercadian Mask. I guess it got reprinted. Castle, dust to dust. Ah, that might not be too bad anymore. Two artifacts for free mana is not the worst scenario. Um, thus, Greater Realm of Preservation, which is the circle of protection of red and black. Phalax, okay. Ivory Guardian, times a bazillion. Justice, probably times a bazillion. And let's finish. Oh my gosh, it just spilled. Justice, Karma times, oh, Kismet. Kismet times a bazillion. And a bird, Sacred Boon times a bazillion. 
Oh, I remember this card was kind of offensive in Fallen Ages, the picture. Sarah's Paladin could be better. And that's it. Oh, Wall and Shield. So, I think it was okay. I do like my dragons quite a bit. I remember like wanting these so badly when I was a kid, but not being able to afford them. So it's kind of funny to see them in front of you and just have the value that they have. Anyway, that's it guys. Leave me a comment below. Bye.